uh, setting his riggers again. Down riggers, 101. You take a little anchovy oil or herring oil, your favorite oil, and put it on your lure for scent. Today I'm going to be using the match, matching Mexican Fiesta, I call it. It's a flasher spoon with about a five, four and a half, five foot liter. So you're going to take that. You got her all leaned up. Take out about 15, 20 feet behind the boat. Take your fishing line. You're gonna wrap it around the pro release. A little pin, wrap it about five times and snap that pin in. This is the best rigger release clip on the market. It's got a little adjusting screw. When the fish pulls it, all you're going to have is the flasher and spoon on. So right now, everything's attached down to that 15-pound downrigger ball. You can loosen up, put your line in free spool. I'll take the clicker off for you. On these new Canon downriggers, they have preset. You can go back to your last uh, last depth you were at. Let's say, let's take it down to 50 feet. Just press the arrow over button. It's taken out automatically, and you're letting the line go with it. You can even just flick it up, and it'll keep it nice and taut as it goes down. I like the lever drag. This is a Charter Special Shimano reel, the Shimano FDR pull. But it's taking it down. Now it stopped it at 50 feet. I tightened my drag up. Now the special thing about these riggers, and I'll show you. Get a different camera. This angle. is the new Canon Optimum Downrigger Tournament Series. If you press this arrow over button, it gives you all these different views. You got your line out and your depth, bottom depth. You got a fish finder built in. Just the line out. Usually, a lot of time I'll leave it on your depth and your fish, your line out. So, <coughs> These have their own transducer that you run on the back of the boat. That's why you get that fish finder view, that one. You can even see the fish. That's probably my downrigger ball right there. Since I'm going kind of slow, my downrigger angles straight down. The transducer's picking up that ball. So the amazing thing about these riggers, unlike the uh, Scotties, is you've got a cycle mode. It's tough to see, but I can press cycle mode and it's on auto. You press the arrow over button to start it. And the rigger's gonna come up and down 10 feet. I think I've got it set to wait five seconds. Comes up to 40 feet. Waits five, maybe 10, I forget. And it'll take it back down to 50 feet. It's also have Take it off cycle mode, your arrow over, turn it off. It also has bottom tracking. And I'm not going to set it on bottom tracking, but it's the same procedure. I've got it set for a five foot offset. So no matter what the contours of the bottom do, the ball is always going to stay five feet off the bottom. And you can even go negative offset for the downrigger line coming up. So. You got sensitivity, offset distance, start, X out of that. What else can we do? Well, bottom tracking, surface clutter, chart speed, depth range, sonar colors. There's a lot you can do with this thing. But that's it in a nutshell. And basically when the fish hits, you'll see the line, your fishing ball go straight up. When a little fish hits and he's not strong enough to pull it out of the clip, you'll just see the pole come do this kind of boink, 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 boink. But when you see that pole raise straight up, he's released it from that green clip and you've got fish on. <coughs> Let's simulate that. <coughs> I'll take the pole out. I've, I've tripped it manually by just jerking the pole up tight. Now with these downriggers, you just press the auto up <clears throat> and the downrigger comes up by itself. It's 
22.20. And I've stopped it at zero. It stops automatically at zero. Then I'll bring it up the rest of the way. And take the seaweed off and whatnot. One, one major thing so your ball doesn't come out. You lower the ball down to approximately the water line down there. And you zero it out. Let me get off this one. Water zero mark. I don't know if you can see that. Arrow over right. Now that's telling the downrigger that's where zero is at. And that's where it should stop the ball the next time you take it down and it brings it up. So you want to continually do that. Sometimes it'll change with the tension in the line in here. I've got braid. I've actually got 600 feet of braid on here. So you can take these and bottom track, say, in 500 feet of water for halibut. Motor mooch with these downrigger by bottom tracking. It's the beauty of the Canon Optimum series. So, and if all goes well, you'll do like me and catch a little coho salmon. Caught that earlier today. It's in my live well. But uh, yeah, it's coho season out here. Area, green area 10, Puget Sound, Washington. And that's it on the Cannon Downriggers.